Hi, welcome to Finance Concepts by your financista, Cynthia Bush. Let's talk about nominal interest rates versus real interest rates. Nominal interest rates are interest rates that include the impact of inflation. Real interest rates are interest rates that have been adjusted to exclude the impact of inflation. The nominal interest rate is the interest rate that you and I normally see. It's the one typically advertised to consumers for things like credit cards, interest bearing checking accounts, car loans, et cetera. Those are all typically advertising the nominal rate of interest. So suppose you made an investment last year that generated 9.1% return. That would be your nominal return. If the inflation rate was 2.73% last year, how much of a return did you really earn on this investment? In other words, what was your real return? A gentleman by the name of Irving Fisher, a famous mathematician and longtime Yale economics professor, developed the Fisher effect, which can be used to answer this question. So when we think about the Fisher effect, it is that nominal interest rates equal real interest rates plus the inflation rate plus the product of the real interest rate times the inflation rate. So let's look at an example. If the real interest rate is 1.04%, your inflation rate is 2.13%, what is the nominal interest rate? You can use the equation on this page to figure it out. So the nominal interest rate equals the real interest rate of 0.0104 plus the inflation rate of 0.0213 plus the real interest rate times the inflation rate. And when we work through the math, we determined that the nominal rate of interest for this example is 3.19%. Notice that is higher than the real interest rate due to inflation. So in some situations, it may be appropriate to approximate the nominal rate of interest instead of calculating it exactly. To approximate the nominal rate of interest, it's very simple. Just take the real interest rate and add the inflation rate. Let's look at the previous example again. So again, the real interest rate is 1.04% and the inflation rate is 2.13%. We can plug these into the approximation equation and we will see that 0.0104 plus 0.0213 equals 3.17%. That's the approximate nominal rate for this example. If we go back and actually use the Fisher effect to determine the actual nominal rate, notice that it's slightly higher, 3.19%. So the approximation will be close, but not as good as determining the actual nominal rate. So now let's talk about the question I asked earlier. You made an investment last year that generated a 9.1% return. If inflation was 2.73% last year, how much of a return did you really earn on this investment? To find this answer, it's actually easiest to use the derivative equation below, which is one plus the nominal rate equals one plus the real rate times one plus the inflation rate. Okay, so we'll just plug the numbers in. One plus the nominal rate is one plus 0.091. That equals one plus the real rate, which is what we're trying to find, times one plus the inflation rate of 0.0273. And then we continue to work through the numbers. 
And as you can see, we can determine that in this example, the real rate of interest is 6.2%. So while your investment generated a return of 9.1%, that was boosted by inflation. The real return from the investment last year was 6.2%. In other words, excluding the impact of inflation. Okay, well, thank you for watching this. That's all for now. Until next time, this is your financista, Cynthia Bush, signing off. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more information on financial concepts. Take care.